All right, what's going on guys? Thanks for stopping by my channel. Today we're gonna be doing sort of like a trippy sort of text tutorial. So hopefully by the end of the video, you'll be able to make something that looks like this. As always, if you guys are interested in more content like this, it would be awesome if you'd leave a like on the video or even a comment if you feel so inclined. And if you like videos like this, it would be sweet if you'd subscribe to the channel. All right. Let's get into the video. Okay, so you can kind of create whatever size document you'd like, but for this video, we're just gonna be doing a 1920 by 1080, pretty standard file size. Um, so yeah, let's just click on that and create our new document. So we're gonna zoom out a little bit so we can see our whole artboard. And then we'll just create a quick background so that we have something to kind of work off of. So I think I'm gonna go with maybe like a, uh, let's go like a, a yellowish, light yellowish green. And then we'll lock that in place with uh, Command 2. That way we can't bump it or anything like that. And then we're just going to make some text. So type whatever you want. Let's say, for this, since we're doing like a kind of trippy text tutorial, we'll write the word trippy. And blow that up a little bit. Cool. And then, um, so for this, you're probably going to want to do kind of like a roundish text. I think that that usually gives the best look, but you can always choose whatever font you want. For this tutorial, I'm going to use Urbane Rounded Bold. So we'll just quickly center that in our artboard. Then what we'll do is select the text and make it have a white fill. And for a stroke, we'll just go with uh, black for now. That'll get changed later. Maybe increase it to like a two point stroke, maybe three points. And then what we're going to want to do is turn this text into outlines. So to quickly do that, you can hit Command Shift O, which will create the outlines. So then what you're going to want to do is go up to Object envelope distort and say make with mesh. So this will give you an option to select some rows and columns. Uh, you can kind of vary this however you want, however many waves you want in the text basically. But for this, we're just gonna go with four and four. Make sure you see preview in case you wanna adjust any of these. And then you can take your direct select tool, select like a row of these and then shift over the, uh, the points of the text with the arrow keys. So, don't go too far, don't make it too excessive, otherwise it's going to look like just too extreme. Try to be a little bit conservative with it. And then shift each one of these lines of text in the opposite direction, basically. So go ahead and do that with all three lines. Then you're going to do the same thing for the column. So each one of these, you'll move the first row up or down, whichever one you decide to do. I'm going to do the first row up. And then the second row down and the third one up. Just make sure you don't go too crazy, otherwise this is gonna get like pretty much unreadable. You just wanna be kind of subtle with it. So now what we're gonna do is head up to Object and click Expand, and we'll expand the object in the fill. Once you've done that, you can select all of it and copy it a couple times. So we're gonna copy this text three times. Once you have it all copied, you can select all the text and go up to Object, Blend, Make. So Depending on what you've used the blend tool for last, this is going to give you whatever that effect is, but um, we're going to need to adjust it a little bit, obviously, because that's way too much. So we'll go over to Blend, Blend Options, and we'll be on Specified Steps. So 50 is obviously way too much. Let's try something like 5, and we can hit Preview to see how that's going to look. I like the way 5 looks pretty well. So we'll say OK. Then move all this over off to the side a little bit for a second. And then what we're going to do is draw a quick ellipse. So to do that quickly, you can hit L or else go over here on the shape panel and click ellipse. So make sure you hold shift to make sure it's a perfect ellipse. Once you have that drawn, just make sure the fill is empty and you can just do like a black stroke. It doesn't really matter, I guess, if you make the fill empty. I just think it's easier to work like that. Then we're going to go to our cut tool and cut it. And so that we get basically a quarter of the circle. Then take your direct select tool and delete the other portion, the three-quarter portion of the circle. So we hit it once to delete one section of the line and again to delete the anchor points in the other sections of the line. Once you have that quarter circle drawn, you're gonna direct select it and take the anchor point, hold shift, and make kind of like a little S-curve. So once you've drawn that, what you can do is rotate it about 90 degrees. Make sure you hold shift so it locks directly into 90. Then from here what you're going to do is select both the text as well as uh, the little S-curve you just drew and go to Object, Blend, and Replace Spine. So that's going to kind of give you that 
kind of curvy backwards look super trippy looking then we'll recenter this on the artboard and if you want it in this orientation that's fine but for me what i'm going to do is flip it so that instead of uh descending into space going upwards it's going to kind of go down so to do that what we'll do is go over to object blend and then reverse spine so now you can see that it kind of goes the other direction. So now that we have this done, let's just copy it over here so we have like a little safety one. And then from here what you can do is go over to your layers panel, drop it down, and select your group. So here you can select the different layers of text and change it to whatever fill you want. So let's say we want maybe like a red for this one. Then for this next one we'll make sure we select this one and maybe we'll go for this like a, like a bluish. And then for the last one, we'll just close up this group again, make sure we've selected this next group. And then for this fill, let's try maybe like an orange. I don't know. I don't really like that orange. How about we try like a green? Yeah. I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. Yeah, this text effects is super simple and easy to do and produces some really awesome results. I would highly recommend it to anybody who's trying to do maybe like a 70s style design. Uh, it's a really cool effect. And I'm really, really stoked on how fast you can do it and how quickly you can adjust everything. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you enjoy content like this, it would be awesome if you'd leave a like for the YouTube algorithm or maybe even a comment if you feel so inclined. And if you want to see more videos like this, definitely subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you as a part of this creative community. All right, I'll catch you in the next one. Later.